So I started my conversion of Enter 3 v 2 to be a switch wire. This is a user mod uh, from Warren. I got those cheapest rails I could find on AliExpress. I used this guy, brake cleaner, to clean the oil initially factory used on them. They claim you can use it as is, and they were actually very smooth. Um, but I want to use PTFE grease. That's how smooth everything doesn't bind anywhere. It's not as smooth as um, using oil that was in there, but it still goes down itself. You can see it. I also stripped down my Ender 3 V2. I have some of the parts printed in my enclosure. Here are the parts. I prepared. I'm very excited about new style burner. Beta was released. Today is uh, 24th. That was today. So that's what I probably will install on this printer. I have triangle lapse parts out there that I will use for that. Order a lot of uh, KVPs, ABS. I'm very excited also. And that's where we're standing right now. I probably will catch up later and show the progress. Um, I think I'll take off all the motors that I want to use, have some <clears throat> extruder motors that I might use too, but we'll see. I had Dragon Hot End and I'm using my war on a Dragon Hot End, high flow, but LDO kit came with this guy and that's what I will use in a cell burner. Very nice. Here you go. I just installed linear rails. I use those M3 like a nuts with spring. Super easy to install. I will put the link in the description using those M3 nuts. Sorry, bolts. And here is my linear rail. Those are um, greased with PTFE. They're not super smooth. Those are also the cheapest one. Works perfectly. I don't have M5 screws to start putting uh, things over here, the belts and everything. I just ordered them from Amazon. For you, it will be a few seconds, for me, a few days. See you next time. Here's my first iteration of this mod. I put the linear rails, I shortened the extrusion, 320 millimeters, it's supposed to be 320 millimeters. I will put one more motor right now and tension the belts. I got uh, bearing stacks over here. It's a little bit rocking, but I'll have to figure out if it, after I'll put tension on the belts. That's it for right now. Just finished PID tuning. Here's basic setup I have made. I made this one under the corner to not tear the cables I have over there. I will install, very soon install those D chains. I have to actually just clean it up. Everything looks so far good. Everything homes. So finally, here's the first print with my conversion. It is a switch wire made out of Ender 3. Most stupid and most expensive upgrade for Ender 3. Which actually does make any sense. Because you probably can purchase switch wire for this price. Or at least assemble switch wire. But, you know, because I had three Ender 3s, I decided to just go with it. That was a <clears throat> totally new type of printer for me. It is a Core XZ. So it's a new kinematic for me and that's the reason why I decided to go with it. Also, I guess that is some interesting content for you guys. Um, I use cheapest trails. I cut my previous gantry. It was too long, supposed to be 320 millimeters. Right now it's not using full bed because I have to move Y axis also. I have linear 
rail for that, but the goal was to make sure kinematics is working and I can move forward with it. Also, it has new stealth burner, an amazing thing. It looks amazing, sounds way better. Previous one had very annoying wine out of a lower uh, fan that, that cools that cools um, hot end. So yeah, that's the first print. Finally, I got it. That was a long day. I really appreciate all the help uh, from Warren Discord. I had a problem where my motors were connected the wrong way. So I connected the wrong motors, the wrong connectors. And my gantry was moving weirdly. Also, I, I used Ender's previous printer config. That was also an issue because um, it had different calibrations for moving Z and X. So it was also moving weirdly. Yeah, it is where it is. It's a very weird journey. But I'm glad I finally finished it. Almost finished it. I have to add LEDs. I also have a chain over here that I will add. A lot of a lot of small finishes. That will be a nice switch wire kind 3D printer. It will be obviously a smaller one, smaller size, but I don't need giant sizes. I not I never print a lot of parts. That's the reason why I got Warren Zero. And this one today also got an update. I think the video already on the channel. Um, I did dual Z basically from the parts that left been left over from that conversion. It is very nice. I have a lot of other small parts here. Maybe I will do something else. I have another printer that I usually print ABS with. Maybe I will update something out there. I also put tensioning knob out here from my uh, Ender 3 V2. And that's, that's the way it goes. So far, it looks good. I think I will um, keep printing few calibrations and things to figure out how it works um, this one also in the middle just because I don't want wires to rub right now it's this way yeah it is ugly but chain is coming that's pretty much it see you guys in the next video